right, y'all, we back with another one. We back with another one. And this is um, Samsung. Samsung. No, I got his name right. Uh, someone had to say it. And I've been, I done already did two reactions of his already. Hold on, let me make sure this camera right. Yeah. Uh, I already did two reactions of his already. And, hey, people been liking it. And they been, you know, telling me what to do next. So I just check it out. And I, I see y'all comments. I do it just, I be having other things going on. But I, when I have free time, I get it done. But on that note, we're going to go on and get into it and see what he's talking about. Where the fuck's my money? I've been working all day, getting dirty as a bitch, busting my tail. Coming home, covered in oil, covered in grease, had the trouble trying to scrub the brake dust from my fingernails. No mm. help in the shop, only me, because we're understaffed, because nobody wants to get a job now. Mm. We ain't no help at the shop. That's how it be when you working. It be no help help at the shop because don't nobody want a job they tell you they want a job but then two or three days later they don't really want to do the work and they ready to quit it's how it be straight up fingernails no help in the shop only me because we're understaffed because nobody wants to get a job now friends hit me up at the work but i don't want to do shit the whole damn day it was bogged down mm. at the end of the week i get my check i hold it up next to my friends they get annoyed and he laughs because i didn't make half of what he made i worked every single day and his ass was unemployed you say this <laughs> job you say this hey that's how it be and when you get your check and you look at it and they look at it it's like why my check short because you ain't been coming in Straight up, you ain't been coming in, so don't don't get mad when the check's short. Straight up. At the end of the week, I get my check. I hold it up next to my friends and get annoyed. And he laughs because I didn't make half of what he made. I worked every single day and his ass is unemployed. You say mm. there's no job, you say there's no one hiring. Every time I open up my phone and go online, I see a lot of positions. But you just listen to the politicians telling you this nasty. You don't even take the time to read. Don't lie to me. It's a fact. All these stupid politicians want to act like a slim picking and it's hard to get when it's so bad, but how come every business that I visit's always understaffed? May not be the job you want, may not be your dream career. You can do something in the meantime when you wake up, things a clear hobby lobby starting out at 17, buddy. You can get a job there instead of collecting free money, I'm just saying. <laughs> Fact. Instead of collecting free money, get up and do something. Like, straight up. If I wasn't in this wheelchair, I would be working. Even putting in overtime. Because, like, ain't nothing like having your own money because you don't have to go out and borrow money. I don't borrow money from nobody. Nobody. No, and I'm not begging. I'm not begging nobody. You have to get it on your own. Straight up. If, if it wasn't for me being in this wheelchair, I would be working. Straight up. And I still try to hustle. I still try to hustle. Straight up. I don't let this bitch stop me. You don't supposed to let nothing stop you. As long as you got breath in your body, you got to figure some shit out. Because, uh, ain't nobody going to help you nowadays. You think somebody going to help you? Shit. Good luck. Because everybody out to help themselves. Straight up. It's hard to even get a ride nowadays. That's why I'm glad I got, like, you know, my mother or my sister, you know, my brother, somebody that I can actually know that will come help me out or something like that. Because yeah, even your own family won't help you out nowadays. Your friends, your so-called friends, nope, you can cancel that. They be like, oh, I got to do this and that. I got It's always something. Straight up. May not be the job you want, may not be your dream career. You can do something in the meantime when you wait for things to clear. Hobby Lobby starting out at 17, buddy. You can get a job there instead of collecting free money. I'm just saying, if you're my age and able, you don't need the government's aid to stay stable. Even for people who really need it, you piece of shit, go and get a fucking job to get paid and be grateful. You're not incapable, you're lazy as fuck. But at the same time, I don't really blame you. If they were handing it out and I had absolutely no pride, I would take it too. I mean, <laughs> straight up, if they handed that money, I'd take it too. But at the same time, if you know you able to work and you know you ain't nothing wrong with you, you ain't disabled, you know what I'm saying? Like I just told y'all, if I was able to work up walking and able to move around, I would get, ASAP would give me a factory job. I already know where I be at. 
because most people that's working and able to work complain about working. You complain about getting a check every week or every two weeks. You getting a check for your work. Why complain? You know what I'm saying? I would be so happy just to get up and to go to work. That's something to do. People could be complaining. I'm so bored around here. It's mainly around where I'm at. And I know it's around in all, all the United States and all the cities. People complain about, especially people. I see it on a daily basis. People around here walking around, able to work, ain't got no job. No job, but able to do it. They want to beg from somebody, or try to steal instead of working. They able to work, but don't do it. We got drug heads out here, rather steal from somebody before, it, you know, rather steal instead of just getting a job. Just get a job. It's simple as that. Work. I see it every single day. People that's able to work don't want to do it. And, you know, I understand if you're disabled and you can't do it and you, you know, live from monthly, monthly, check to check. That's understandable because you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? But it's people that I see on a daily basis. Daily basis. I see them walking around. Just sitting, sitting on the sidewalk or just looking at folks' houses like they rather steal than work. This is on a daily basis. It's sad, but it's the truth. I'm the real dumbass. I'm the one working hard. I'm still busting my ass. People I haven't seen in a minute come up to me and ask me if I'm still working. I say, yeah. And they're like, fuck that. Didn't you hear? They're giving this shit out for free now. And I'm like, how? And so how they be? How? You don't have to have a reason to get it. They barely notice. You just go online and apply and tell them you're scared of COVID. And just like that, you don't got a real job, but you still get paid. God, I feel robbed. I can't say <laughs> that. I never thought of doing it. I don't want to contribute to all this fucking foolishness and assist the government in creating this dependency. If you don't know what I'm saying, then just wait till the end and see. When everybody's free, money gets cut off you think they're gonna go straight to work again fuck off let me clear the air i know a lot of people really felt the wrath of this i'm not talking to you and i'm not knocking you dude i know some folks were in bad shape after this like you got kids and wife and you had a good job and the dividends were nice and you lost it all of a sudden over this fucking bullshit and you needed something just to keep you winning in this fight i understand we're all fucked in the end though so we might as well come together no matter who you are and no matter who you voted for i really do believe we need something better is it me or is it crazy as fuck that at a time like this with a horrible disease they would make us wait for those tiny little checks just so they could give money to other foreign countries? Facts. Facts. I be, I be, I be so anxious just to work. But I know I even have a check coming in every week, every two weeks. He's speaking facts. Like, you know what I'm saying? They have us waiting. And then they, what do you say, give give it to the foreign country or something? Hold on, let me go back. Make us wait for those tiny little checks just so they can give money to other foreign countries? Send the money to Pakistan. Why? For gender studies, we have to, man. I know you're worried and this shit is really scary, but send a billion to the Egyptian military and fuck it. Send another to the Smithsonian. Yeah, yeah, I know this shit ain't even open, but fuck it again. Shut up and spend. What about the fallen trees? Two million. We need to study them. Mm -hmm. Ever wonder how many amberjack fish are currently swimming in the Gulf of Mexico? Well, I want to know that shit right now. 2.5 million, motherfucker. Now let it go. You run a business? Shut it the fuck down. And if you don't, we're going to find you till you do. It's way too dangerous. And if you don't understand, then maybe you're going broke. We'll finally get it through. Last but not least, for our hardworking, tax-paying Americans, who stuck it out through this pandemic and put their lives on the line so we could keep our economy rolling. Those little people we like to call essential. I give to you six hundred That's what they need. Don't go to. spending it all in one place now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's exactly what they did. Now he talking about the stimulus shit. That's crazy. Hey, he's speaking facts, though. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about that. He's speaking facts. Like, straight up.
Somebody had to say something straight up. I swear, cause uh, like I say, man, these people that out here that can work and ain't working, sad. I'm telling you, it's sad. It really is. But y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and on that note, you can catch me in the next video. I'm out.